Hey guys, it's Chris from Steeda, and today we're gonna to bring our 2015 plus S550 Mustang to 2021 with an LED interior conversion kit from Diodynamics. We're gonna go ahead and do a review and an install, so let's get to it. For those 2018 plus Mustang owners out there, the Diodynamics LED interior conversion kit is the perfect modification to take your incandescent bulbs in the interior and bring it up to the 21st century. This particular kit is offered in 300 lumens or 440 lumens. You get two map lights, you get your vanity lights, and a glove box light as well, all converting to LED from those yellow, old-looking incandescent bulbs. Installation is super simple, it's plug and play. So let's hop right in and we'll show you how. All you need is a couple hand tools, panel removal tool, small flathead screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and a pair of needle nose pliers. There's no doubt when you hop in the car, the first thing you notice are these yellow incandescent map lights from the factory. That's why we have this Diodynamics interior LED kit. First thing we'll dive into is these map lights. I gotta say, the most nerve wracking part of the installation is trying not to break this plastic piece here. You have a tab on both sides, right in the center. And the idea is that you reach on either side of this console, whatever you wanna call it, and pull directly down. Just kinda of wiggle it a little back and forth a little bit and pull directly down. You're doing your best not to break those plastic tabs. And after some massaging, it's to pull right out. So next, what you're gonna wanna do now keep in mind, these bulbs are obviously hot since they've been on. So you pull this out. Once you have this pulled out, grab yourself a paper towel. Just pull that out right there. Let it sit on the floor and cool off. Grab your new diode LED. Lights up. You slide it back in, clicks into place. And do the same thing with the driver's side. Lights right up. Push it in, clicks right in. Make sure it's secure. Oh, I love that look. Make sure these metal brackets are pushed all the way down on the plastic. Make sure everything's lined up. And you push back into place. Moving on to the vanity lights, the key is popping these plastic lenses off on either side so you can get access to the rest of the Vanity, grab a very, very small flathead screwdriver to pop these off. Once you get one loose, you should be able to work your way up and get the rest. There you go. Do the same thing with this side. Got one. Perfect. Once you have those plastic lenses off, you grab a Phillips head screwdriver so you can get access to pulling these bulbs out. It's a little tedious, but well worth the effort once you're completely over to LED. So the reason why the lights went out is because the switch here relies on this visor being open. Now a smaller set of needle nose pliers would probably be more ideal. This is the closest set I had, but it does the job. You reach in and grab your new Diodynamics bulbs, slide them on in there. They click into place, so you really can't mess it up. So now that you have both bulbs in, you can press down on the switch up here to make sure they work. As you can see, only one of them is working, meaning that all we need to do is pull it out, 
and flip it over. Now both of them should work. Go ahead and put it back into place. Grab your screws. These guys are small, so be careful not to lose them. Perfect. And you got your lenses. Slide them in from the outside, then you push down on the inside. Do the same thing over here. And then push down on the inside. Hear that click, and man, does that look good. Love it. Open it up and close it just to make sure everything turns off and on as it should. It works great. And you repeat the same thing on the passenger side. All right, last but not least, the glove box light. Go ahead and open up the glove box. Take your belongings out. Got the manual up here. You take that out. In order to get some more access here, on the right-hand side, you pull up, pull that out. And you push it up a little bit you have to pull this whole thing down. On either side, you can see where this pushes in the little bumpers here. Anyways, this gives you access to the factory incandescent glove box light. All right, on the glove box light here, you have this plastic housing that goes around the bulb. What you want to do is kind of pry that away, and this whole housing should operate out so you can swap the bulb and the spring and button make sure you grab those as well so you don't misplace them so you go ahead and slide the spring back into place this little copper part goes over the push button on the back side and you can push it back into place. This should just snap right in. Perfect. Now for the fun part, the bulb. Now that you can handle it, it comes out real easy. And grab your LED bulb. push it into place. So what you do after that is pop this guy back into place. You can see the hole right here where the button comes out. Perfect. And after that, slide everything back in. Perfect. And you're all done. In terms of installation, it really isn't too bad. All in all, these are literally direct fit upgrades for the factory incandescent bulbs throughout your interior on your S550. Conveniently enough, Dio Dynamics includes all the bulbs you need in terms of the map lights, the vanity lights, the glove box light, everything you need to bring your interior up to, frankly, the LEDs you should have had from the factory. But regardless, really happy with the fit and finish. It's also pretty cool when you hit the unlock button or you enter the vehicle, the map lights still dim on and off. So you still get that nice luxurious touch when you enter or exit the vehicle. Go ahead and comment below. Let us know what other LED upgrades you want to see for your S550 or earlier generation Mustang. If you want to see more cool Ford and Mustang content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get that popping right up on your phone. And don't forget the most important thing, speed matters.